Cancer is a disease that touches so many families and one person dies from it and three new cases are diagnosed every minute in the United States. But there's a new treatment that is offering hope. In fact, some researchers believe it could one day be the cure for some cancers. Jeff Ballion shows us how it works. It's been a long haul. This long, punishing journey started some 15 months ago. I was suffering from fatigue. That was really the only symptom I had. Doctors soon discovered why Keith Mangan was so exhausted. Somebody my age shouldn't be getting colon cancer, right? I mean, At first, things looked hopeful. Chemotherapy appeared to slam the brakes on the tumor in his colon. But then surgery revealed a grim prognosis. It was starting to invade into the pancreas and the kidneys. They tried more chemo, but the cancer was accelerating. It was uh, very difficult to hear because the first thing you think of, he's not going to make it. This is where Mangan's cancer crisis came to a fork in the road. He could choose to live the rest of his days as comfortable as possible. I didn't have many other options. Or take a shot at an experimental drug that's part of a clinical trial. He's telling me that if this drug doesn't work, you know, I may have like two years, you know, left, you know, they'll, they'll try to extend life, but if they can't, you know, kill the tumor, you know, it, so that's really hard to think about. Researchers at Abbott Northwestern Hospital wanted to see if Mangan's colon cancer would respond to immunotherapy, a developing science that some believe could revolutionize the way cancer is treated. I think it is the biggest breakthrough in the treatment of cancer in my career. Um, I think, I hope, that 10, 15 years from now, we will look back and view this treatment as what led to a cure for many cancers. What's unique about this approach is it relies on the patient's own immune system to go after the cancer. Normally, our immune system attacks things that are foreign to our bodies. But cancers have a way of hiding in the dark, tricking the immune system into thinking it's a friend and not a foe. Immunotherapy uses drugs that can turn on the light so the immune system can see the cancer and destroy it. They're not chemotherapy. In fact, these are probably the easiest treatments I've ever seen. I mean, they, for most of my patients, have virtually no side effects. Unlike chemo, Mangan had no hair loss or nausea from the immunotherapy treatments, but he did develop a high fever. The whole bed would shake, and his eyes almost rolled back like he was having convulsions. He was shaking so bad from the chills. His immune system shifted into overdrive. It was attacking not only the cancer, but healthy tissue like his kidneys. I had renal failure, was uh, on dialysis for about a month and a half. Doctors gave him steroids to calm down his immune system, but the steroids then caused bleeding ulcers in his intestines. Next thing you hear is machine telling you to hold your breath. Despite these complications, it appears as though the immunotherapy is working. I got a scan, it showed that the tumor was shrinking, and so that was, that was really hopeful. In December, surgeons went in to remove what cancer was left. They sent the tissue to a pathology lab for analysis. Something remarkable had happened. An oncologist came by and told me the tumors are dead. It was great. I mean, this is the hope of immunotherapy, that it will stop even the most advanced cancers in their tracks and add years to a person's life. But the chief medical officer of the American Cancer Society cautions it's still very early. I'm very excited about immunotherapy, but I don't want people to uh, think that it is the holy grail or that it's going to be the cure for all cancers. Uh, clearly, some people are benefiting from immunotherapy. That's the disclaimer for now. Some people are benefiting, but not all. We need to understand why do they work in some people and why do they not work in others, and frankly, we don't know the answer to that right now. The FDA has approved immunotherapy for certain types of lung cancers. It's also become the preferred treatment for some melanoma skin cancers. These drugs carry a hefty price tag. Many cost $10,000 a month. The biggest uh, obstacle to advancing immunotherapy and all cancer therapies is uh, cancer clinical trials. Dr. Brawley says a lot of questions about this promising new treatment could be answered if more people like Keith Mangan were willing to go into the studies. This should hopefully be my last time in here.
It's now been six weeks since Mangan had the remnants of his last tumor surgically removed. He's about to get the results of his latest CT scan to see if any cancer can be detected in his body. Hello. Hi. Last summer, before the immunotherapy treatments, it had spread from his colon to other organs. So we got your scans yesterday. Okay. Okay. And the scans, they all look good. Now, okay. good there's no evidence of it anywhere. Everything's good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, but in the big picture, this has gone perfectly. For the first time in 15 months. Pretty hopeful for the future that, you know, nothing comes back. Continue living my life. The road ahead doesn't look so ominous. Jeff Bellion, Fox 9.